Fox 2's Dave Kinchin sat down with the governor today. And Dave, how did that conversation go? Well, we certainly covered a lot in about 15 minutes. I can tell you that was one of the big questions. Here's what we do know. It's the new term coming up in January. The governor reshuffled her cabinet a little bit. There's also a focus on bipartisanship, but we'll see how that goes. The governor says they're focused on that too. In the heart of downtown Detroit during the holiday season, a chat with Governor Gretchen Whitmer and her Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist about their next four years in office with jobs, the economy, and education of high interest to Metro Detroiters. What's the one bill you want to see come across your desk, uh, that first bill that you want to sign in the new term? Well, let me say this. First of all, I am so excited about a second term. We are all focused on helping people get ahead. So I would anticipate very early on having some action that'll put more money in people's pockets, whether it is repealing the retirement tax or it is the working family tax credit. So we can help people you know, who are struggling right now with inflation, et cetera. These are things that I think we could take quick action on that'll really give people a little breathing room and a little help when they need it most. How uh, can you reassure the folks that um, both parties can work together? Do, is it a possibility in Lansing with uh, everything going on and the discourse where it is right now? Not only is it a possibility, it's an imperative. So for the last four years, we worked with a Republican-controlled legislature, and it was downright contentious at times, no question. We got a lot of good stuff done. I anticipate that we'll continue to be responsive. You know, with this narrow majority, it represents a big opportunity nonetheless. And that opportunity is going to get, we're going to get there through collaboration. So I expect that the majority leader and the minority leader will have a good relationship and work together. And as state leaders prepare to hash out deals on the state budget and education spending, people are still wondering about those pesky crumbling roads the governor pledged to fix four years ago. You've talked about years of um, divestment that have taken place, but um, over four years, a lot of people are wondering, you know, shouldn't the roads, shouldn't that repair be further along? <laughs> well, we're addressing decades of disinvestment. In, in four years, with a legislature that wouldn't work with me, we've gotten a lot done, and I'm excited about that. We went forward with a bond because the legislature said, we're going to have a plan, and they never did a darn thing. So I'm not going to wait for people who are just going to, you know, fold their arms and, and not solve problems. So we moved forward with the bond. We started getting a lot of great projects done. No matter where you go, you've seen the orange barrels. We now have the federal resources that are coming in, but those are not in perpetuity. This is one-time funding, and that's why it's still important that we work with the legislature and have a long-term solution. Of course, this future talk begs the question of even more future talk with national media tossing around the governor's name as a possible presidential contender. You've said you're not running for president, but do you? what do you make of the national discussion and would you welcome be the vetting process? No, I just got elected to four more years and the job that I love that I want to do, and this is going to have 100% of my focus. I am so grateful to be the governor of the state. I've lived here my whole life. I'm going to live here for the rest of my life. And I want to make sure that whomever succeeds me has an even stronger Michigan to, to continue to take to the next level. So I'm excited about the second term, and it's 100% of my focus. But if the National Democratic Party, if they push for your name to be thrown in the ring, I mean, would, would you accept that? No, I'm going to be the governor of Michigan for the next four years. All right, she made it clear the lieutenant governor also addressed rumors that he would at one point, at some point, run for Detroit mayor. He says, nope, he's focused on being lieutenant governor and calls it the opportunity of a lifetime. Roop. Dave Kinchin for us live. Thank you.